Hey, what's up guys? It's a uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new Artist Journey video. So today, we'll be talking about starting new again, right? So, <clears throat> you've just finished your piece, and you are, you know, you've you've basked in the in the glow of of being, you know, finished and like, yes, I finished my new piece, right? But once again, we have entered the realm of the blank canvas. Okay, and I know for a lot of you guys, um, it's a really scary place, you know, it's because like, you know, you, you want to feel the good stuff, you know, you want to feel the finish, you want to feel the, the high of the, the, yeah, I just did it, yeah, no, I'm happy, but as most of us know, once you start on the new one, that feeling of accomplishment and, and uh, of, of that high, just, it goes away and you are once again humbled by the blank canvas, okay? So that's what we'll be talking about today. But before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out my Prince and Patreon if you want to support the channel, and consider becoming a channel member, right? And with that, let's get into it. So, the blank canvas, okay? It is, you know, it's scary, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, um, it's like kind of like a proving ground, right? Um, a lot of us, they we, we will finish a piece and we'll be really happy with it. And then um, approaching the empty canvas once again is is frightening. It's it's scary and you just don't, you just, like some, some people lose confidence when approached with it, right? And my advice for people who are, you know, starting again, starting new is, is to one, start early right when you've just finished a piece like the more days that accumulate before you start your next one the bigger the dread will become right so as soon as you can start the next one right i i would say like um like if you finish your piece maybe take a day right and like like you know be happy about it feel good about it you know like you know give yourself that you know what i mean you deserve it you deserve to feel good about your piece deserve to bask in the in the glory of your finished work right <clears throat> but i would say maybe i would maybe like two three days start the next one okay or maybe uh depending on the level of difficulty of the piece you know you could start the same day right i know there's a lot of people who are more of sketch artists more of like character designers and starting the next drawing isn't so bad you know what i mean um but if you just finish like a big major piece, I would say like give yourself the time to really enjoy it. Okay, show it off, let people see it, you know, and 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 be happy about it. You know what I mean? Cuz that's what it's all about, right? It's all about feeling good after surmounting a challenge or um, maybe it was a difficult piece and you you really you really struggle with it, but you found a way through. And you know, give yourself the, the the joy of of showing others. You get what I'm saying, right? And um, afterwards, okay, you have to like you don't want to mentally prepare yourself, okay? You want to just jump into the the deep end, okay? Dive right right into the next one, okay? And don't look at the blank canvas don't look at the white just make some just make a mark okay you're like okay i need to do this thing i have all my ref prepared i know what i gotta do right you've already done the prep work and now you look at the canvas and you're like okay where's my first mark place it right away okay don't wait if you wait it then then it's like oh, 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 oh you know then it begins okay just jump into it okay and don't and the most important part is don't judge yourself right away okay as with most art when you first are starting to do it it's gonna suck okay and that like that even happens to me okay and i'm i'm fairly experienced at this point right and i've made really good pieces but when you start from the beginning it's like the beginning every painting is like the beginning of a new artist's journey okay or, or a hero's journey rather and at first it's gonna be bad you know and it's like the like it's almost like the piece it's is finding itself right and with you as the artist you're going along for that ride okay 
and you're gonna have to help guide the piece to find its true path, okay? So, like, in a way, it's not really reflected on you, okay? It's reflected on the piece. But you, as its guide, also feel the pain that it feels and the, and the awkwardness of, of that beginning phase. But that's okay, right? Because if you finish pieces, if you've done it before, then you know that you have the, the power, the skill, and the ability to guide the piece to its correct destination. Okay, and that's and that's what it's all about. It's knowing that um, though you may stumble, okay, though the piece may stumble, though the piece may look like mm, I'm not really liking it so far. You know that you have the ability to maybe change it or fix it, okay, or like oh, like you'll be able to make a call that's like okay, you know this is not kind of working. I'm gonna change it to this, right? And then oh, now it works, okay. But to be afraid of that process that's where things get bad okay that's where things get like for a, i know a lot of people who like they're working on a piece and it's not going the way they want right and instead of instead of um trying to fix the problem they start over okay and like okay i'm just gonna new one right and like i think that's really bad okay and i've seen it affect a lot of artists especially like sketch artists you know what i mean they're 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 so willing to flip the page starting again um they're willing to like like oh this drawing's not working i'm gonna do a new one okay and basically it doesn't work really well because you're starting from new again right you're starting from scratch and like then you get the it's like the same dread of where you got before in the same way right like like people are so afraid of like not making the perfect drawing in the perfect sequence right it's like you know when you're playing a video game and like like like, like, like you're playing like Resident Evil okay and you're going through and you're going through this one like this one section and you, you take a hit and you're like oh dude I gotta reset it's not perfect okay reset okay again and then you do it again and you get you get hit but at a different spot and you're like oh, shit dude i i don't want to lose health items reset okay it's that kind of mentality right when the game is actually built for you to like ah oh, you took a hit like well you could find a healing item there right you take a hit here that's fine you don't need to have the perfect run every single time right and that's kind of how art is right where the best results come from you know having mistakes here and there right like you took a hit whatever you know the, you take a healing item you know what i mean if if you don't if you're not willing to stumble and like make those mistakes right and uh learn from those mistakes and then fix them on the piece itself right then the piece is gonna show that right you want the mistakes to be there right it's kind of like like showing like the journey of your art piece right you see it and like like if you see someone who has never made a mistake in their life right and never stumbled and and never like 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 struggled with what they do right do you really like that person as much no they if they're like bragging like, oh i've done everything perfect i've never made a mistake in my life i've all like i've never struggled like you don't care about that you know what I mean? You don't like, you're like, you're like, that. You're, it's not even believable. You know what I mean? So it seems fake. It doesn't seem honest, okay? Because, like, you know that at the end of the day, people make mistakes, right? And it's the same thing with art, okay? You have to be willing to let the mistakes happen. Let the fuck ups, you know, it, it, it's, it's part of the painting's journey, right? Your art is a living thing, okay? So as a result, it needs to make its own mistakes. Right? It's like a child, right? You can't have a child that makes no mistakes then and, and you try to exert control and what do you do? You reset? You can't do that. It's not gonna happen, right? And you know, like some of my like best pieces, I've made like major mistakes, okay? Right? And then but guess what? I don't give up on it. I go, hey, it's a mistake, and maybe like I, I can't figure it out now. Maybe I'll work on something else. Like on the side, on, on like, like here's the mistake right here. I'll just work on this section right here, okay? Fix that up, okay? And then you're like, okay. And then you, you, let, you let the brain calculate 
what's wrong with over here, right? And then you go, whoop, and then you're like, oh, now I figured it out, okay? Or maybe you just have to push through and you're like, okay, mm, it's not working, mm, it's not working, erase, mm, you know what I mean? Or, or like, you have to figure those things out, right? And this is something that I see a lot in younger artists is where they'll make a mistake and then they'll do the control alt delete, right? Like, you, let, let's say you're doing line work, right? And you do the, okay, and you're like, control alt delete. Control delete, you know, again and again, you're like, to get that perfect line, okay? You should only really do that for your final line work, okay? But if you're doing like a sketch, if you're building up the drawing, then just leave it, dude. Because that, that those lines, that buildup of line, it has energy to it, okay? And like this, that mark allows you to know where it's wrong. You get what I'm saying, right? And so you could draw the next line better, right? Because you have this line as a reference point, right? And if you don't, if you erase it, then you don't have a reference point anymore. And then so you you make another line, and you and you're just doing a guessing game, right? So having that 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 one mistake allows you to self-correct around it. And then you, guess what you could do? You just erase the bad line, and then boom, now you have a good line, right? And doing the doing that little thing right will allow you to build to just a good drawing in general right a good result right but it's built on uh the mistakes that you made and then you build the success on top of it right so like as marco pierre white says okay about making perfect food okay perfect food is made doing a little things doing all the little things perfectly okay or doing them correctly right so to do those things perfectly or correctly okay um it's sorry not perfectly doing thing doing small things right okay so to do those things right you have to know where they're wrong okay and unlike food when you're drawing uh you could see the mistake okay right you could see where you fucked up right leave it that's good because now you fix it okay that's what it's all about and like i said don't judge yourself so hard okay especially when you're doing a new drawing especially like for you for for you more inexperienced artists don't judge yourself so hard okay that's part of the process we all suck at the, at the start of it okay like we, we're like we're doing it like like oh this is not working there's gonna be that phase of the of your of your art where you're like oh this is not working Okay, but the best people they know like they're like, oh, it's not working. Oh, and then okay, if I just keep pushing through, I grip my teeth. It's gonna look bad. It's gonna look bad. It's gonna look bad. And then and then there it go. Now it looks okay. Okay, and that's what you want. All right, you can't look good from like the very beginning. And I know there's a lot of artists who do that, and that's like, and to not be able to push through that, it's kind of like an insecurity with an artist. Okay, like some of the best artists. They're like, I'm, they're just like, boop, 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 and like, and, like, and, and you're, you're gonna be like, oh, this is ugly. Like, how, how are you gonna work? And then like, there's gonna be one moment where it just like, and then like, now it looks amazing, okay, right? A lot of my teachers do that, right? Where they're like, you're just putting all these blobs in, and it's like, like, why is that? Why, why are you just putting these blobs in? And then they're like, uh, and then they add like one little sharp spot right here, and then like, uh, and then, and then the face, and then, boom, and then you're like, wow, now it's realistic and everything looks beautiful, okay? And that's just because they know that in the beginning it's gonna be it's gonna be horrible. You know what I mean? It's gonna look weird, and you're not gonna be able to convince the eye that it looks good until you get to that part of the process. Okay? So for you guys, when you're starting again, okay, take the time to understand that it's gonna look bad. Okay, number one. Number two, when you make a mistake, leave it and adjust, okay? Number three, don't judge yourself so hard, okay? And be willing to push through that, okay? Right? And understand that, like, the drawing, okay, will find itself. The painting will find itself, okay? And you just, you are not 
you are not the, the, the creator of it, in a way, okay? And I mean, you are, okay? Like, in a literal sense, yes, okay? But in a more metaphorical sense, in the more divine sense, you are not the creator, okay? You are simply the guide, the instrument, okay? From which the muse sings its song, okay? Makes its piece, paints the painting, okay? And the more you try to exert control, the less the muse has control, okay? And when the muse has control, that's when the beauty comes in. That's when the divine enters the space, okay? And that's when you make truly beautiful pieces that speak to people, okay? So, you wanna, you wanna have less control, okay? Have less control. And that takes real courage, all right? Because fear makes you wanna grip Makes you want to like take the wheel and like, no, I'm guiding it. I'm telling it what to be, okay? And like I said, when it comes to pieces, right? Like it's like, like it's, a, it's a living thing. It's like a child, right? You don't want to coddle your child. You don't want to uh, grip your, your, your child's like neck by the, with an iron fist, you know what I mean? You want to simply guide it along, you know? And it's like, oh, you made a mistake. That's okay. You made a mistake. Here. How, now, now here's a solution on how to fix it, okay? Think it, look at it, fix it, okay? And you keep guiding it along, you keep guiding it along, and then it'll grow, and then it'll start, it'll start creating its own momentum, right? And then you'll be, you'll be so happy to look at it, and you're like, yeah, 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 and then, and then you're entering the better part of the hero's journey, okay? You see, the, you, you rise, 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 and, but you know what? Like, there's always, like, you know, in the middle of the big fall, Okay, and we're like, like, no, I just had it. It was going good, and now it's. I made made a big mistake, but then you. That's when you. That's when you hit the spot where you you learn. Okay, and then guess what? You go back up again. All right, and then you find you get to the final finish, and then boom, dude. Right, and you finish. You feel good. Your child. It's all grown up. Okay, it's it's living on its own. The piece has its own life. Okay. And you're like, and you, like I said, you were just a steward, but you know what? Don't you feel like a real proud, proud parent, you know? Like, you're like, yeah, dude, like, like, good for that piece, dude, for finding its way, all right? And for me to, for, for helping it along, you know what I mean? When it, when it was stumbling, right? And then guess what? You do that, you finish, you feel good again, and here we are again, at that same spot, that same high that we felt at the beginning of this video, okay? And then what are you gonna do? You're gonna find the next piece, you're gonna find the next idea, and you're gonna start again, okay? But this time, you start with the idea knowing that you can do it, okay? And that's what breeds the real confidence. That what makes That's what makes you feel like, I could guide the next child. I could guide the next painting to its right destination. I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna do it again, knowing that I'm gonna be afraid, it's gonna suck, but you know what? It's gonna find its way because I'm the good, I'm a good guide, okay? And I hope you guys feel that, all right? And I think that's it. I think we can end the video here, guys. Please, if you like this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Prince of Patreon if you wanna support the channel and consider becoming a channel member, okay? All that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.